It's no secret there's a desperate need for school bus drivers all over the state. That's why Anne Arundel County is hoping to bring in new hires with some extra cash. WJZ's Live, new at 11, Annie Rose Ramos spoke to parents and bus drivers who say this is all coming too little too late. Annie Rose. Well, Vic, these $5,000 bonuses aren't being given out all at once. They're meant to be spread out over time. But students and parents say they are sick and tired of waiting for buses that never arrive. Then students have to walk to school or parents have to order expensive Ubers for them. And all of this is happening two or three times per week. My hands are cold. My whole body is shivering. Waiting for a school bus that never shows up. Ninth grader Marcus Gibson depends on the bus while his parents are at work. And now it's getting cold. These kids can't be standing out here. But all too often, buses in Anne Arundel County don't have anyone to drive them. That's why County Executive Stuart Pittman is out with cash incentives. $5,000 for both new and current drivers. And they asked me to be a driver because I have a, a CDL license. The situation is so dire, parent Jonathan Hill got this letter from the state, encouraging him to become a bus driver. But his main concern... What if I become a bus driver and my son needs a bus and I'm in another a whole nother place like maybe that I can't get them. Pittman is dedicating more than four million dollars of the county's federal recovery funds to these bonuses. That is an awesome beginning. But where's the rest of it? But bus driver Lisa Beauchamp says it's not enough. Where's the retirement fund? Where's the phrase you said we was going to receive? School bus drivers went on strike last month, leaving parents even more desperate. I want to know how, to, how they're going to fix it and how long this is going to be going on. Beauchamp says until they get better pay and benefits, drivers will keep leaving their job. Right now today, you can go to McDonald's, Wendy's, and get hired and get all those things that we're not receiving. Now, Rick, current school bus drivers are planning to vote to unionize this Monday morning in the hopes that becoming a union will help them better fight for more pay and more benefits. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.